Charlie 01, this is Tango 01. Stand by for sit rep. Over. Tango 01, this is Charlie 01. Roger, standing by. Charlie 1, you have five personnel, all armed with multiple small arms, located on the second floor. Rooftop appears to be clear. No sign of precious cargo. Enter building when ready. I'll cover you while you move. Tango 01, this is Charlie 01. Roger, moving. What do you do? I make interactive coloring books for touchscreen devices. Good luck with that. Thank you. What do you do? I'm a producer. Did I mention I'm a producer? Make good choices. Hey, hey, could I at least have some cigarettes? What's your name? I'm David Sears. I made the early SOCOM games. What's your gamer tag? It's Dr. Boom. Tango 01, this is Charlie 01. Score, score, score. Who are you? I'm a Navy SEAL. I'm here to get you out. You don't look like the Navy SEALs I worked with on SOCOM. Times have changed. I guess they have. Okay, get me out. Yeah, I'm working on that. 9-11. Ah, combination lock. Bingo, I'm in. Put this on, it'll protect you. I don't think it works like that. Put it on. There, now I'm protected. Let's move. Get down. Don't move. Today, people throw around words like tactical, authenticity, and team-based like they're brand new concepts. The truth is, if your game is inspired by real-world military training, players can't win unless they play tactically and as a team. Sometimes, the pace is slower and more methodical, and there's certainly a time for that. But after the shooting starts, sometimes it's all-out war. And as far as authenticity goes, it's just another word for realism, and you have to know the line that you walk. Too much, and your game is boring. Too little, and you're a theme park ride. I know how to tell the difference. I've done it before. And today, my authenticity. Consultants aren't consultants at all. They're not in far-off locations. They're right here. They're my colleagues. Let's go. It's all clear. Sit down. Take this some drive, learn what you can. I'll be in the hallway. That's great, student Over the years since the first two SOCOM shipped, a lot of people have asked me to return to the franchise and pick up where I left off. I can't do that because I don't own the IP. But then I thought, what if I didn't try to make a sequel? What if I took the design approach from those early days and imagined what an evolved version of those games would be like today? What if I didn't try to recreate those early games exactly, but took the chances with design that were just too risky at the time? What if I didn't limit myself to Navy SEALs, but instead aspired to tell the personal stories of elite warfighters from various special forces units around the world? I got it. Let's go, man. We gotta move fast. Close behind me. Let's go. Hey, Spartan. What? I need a minute. Hurry up. 
Back when I was making SOCOM, what we were doing was experimental. The technology was new, and the rules for shooter gameplay weren't dictated by one or two major franchises. So we made what we thought would be fun to play, authentic where it needed to be, and embrace new technologies such as speech recognition and broadband connectivity. I applied what I knew about making games, and at the time, admittedly, that was a lot less than I know now. But I followed my heart. And this, the results, made a lot of people really happy. And I'm hoping some of you are seeing this today. Hey Sears, time's up, let's go. Charlie One, you've got company south side. Holy shit, how many more savages are in here? Stay there, don't move, I'll be right back. For most of the last year, I've been designing H Hour World's Elite. Not only is it the spiritual successor to the early SOCOMs in core gameplay, though we are pushing that a lot farther, it's going to raise the bar in terms of community development, community building. A lot of our effort is going into creating tools to establish, communicate with, and maintain your clans. But maybe even more important is our use of analytics to help you improve not only the way you play as an individual, but how you play as part of a team. So maybe you used to enjoy online shooters, but if you're like me, you don't enjoy getting headshotted in the first five seconds of play. H Hour has built-in tools that teach you not only how to avoid these sorts of lethal scenarios, but how to become an all-around badass. Hey, Mr. Sears, come with me, but watch your step. Stay close. Our strategy is simple. We build and ship multiplayer with analytics and community tools first. Then, while we're creating new DLC for multiplayer, we're building the single player campaign. But we need your help to do it. Let's go. Hey, Charlie One, apparently you misread what stealth means. We have multiple lights coming on all over the objective. Thanks for fing up my exco. I'll see you at the hot wash. Tango zero 01, this is Charlie zero 01. Ready for Xville. Roger, zero 01, you're right, it's two minutes out. You have two minutes. What? You're not really a Navy SEAL, are you? No. Yes, Mr. Sears. Are those real? If they were real, we wouldn't need to be doing this video. Is that? This is very real. I'm going to secure our extraction. We're passionate about making the spiritual successor to SOCOM, a tactical team-based military shooter that isn't afraid to be both authentic and humorous. And if that's the kind of game you want to play, you can show it by funding us. Every little bit helps even a minimum amount of pledge. But we've created a lot of premium packages for anyone who wants to show the world that they support us and the idea of a player's first, game first approach to game development. Rides here, let's go. Boss man, this is Tango Zero One. Five enemy KIA, precious cargo is secure and headed your way. H hour has begun. Tango One out. 